Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Okay, so today I just wanted to go over uh, two questions I got from people. Thanks for participating. Thanks for uh, watching what I do or read or however you're doing it. Um, so let's get specific. There's a bunch of questions in this one uh, and I'll break them down as uh, I can. Now, this person says, I've been following Quant Labs for some time, being a statistician, I can never say that word, by trade, I feel right at home. However, as a trader, I currently have preference for momentum news plays, gap, go, and I know you recommend I be as a broker. I would like to get your input for the latency issues I hear of. How fast is their smart direct uh, access routing? And it also seems that level two quotes are not tick by tick. TWS is quite uh, resource intensive. Did you compare them against light speed? And could you, can you share your uh, thoughts with me? Now, the reason I do these videos is not just for this person. This is for whoever gets access to these videos and all my content. So thanks for that. So the first question that really uh, caught my eye is this one. Uh, did you compare them against light speed? Just so you know, on YouTube, there is a video here. Um, and this is a little old, but who cares? It's still valid. I'm pretty sure of it. Data feed comparison between Interactive Brokers, Lightspeed, uh, and Zenfire. Now, here's what you'll take away from this. When you watch this news, uh, this data feed here from Interactive Brokers versus Lightspeed, and I can't really, I hear good and bad about Zenfire, Lightspeed's okay, but if you got thirty, forty thousand dollars to open an account, go for it. Um, but Interactive Brokers is the next best thing that we we tell traders have access to. But the takeaway on interactive brokers that you'll learn from all the others is that with interactive brokers on the tick level, they'll aggregate the data and then they'll do, I don't know, four or five ticks, maybe 20 ticks, and then release them onto their queue. Whereas Lightspeed, it's tick by tick by tick. Zenfire, I'm not sure. Good and bad I hear about them. But here's the thing. Uh, if you're really worried about stuff like that, um, you're better off to go with Lightspeed. And I've already answered that question. With light speed, if you got thirty thousand dollars or forty, whatever their minimum requirement is, go with them. But a lot of retail traders do not um, have that kind of account or capital, so you're really forced to stay on IB. So that's a problem. And if you really want to go high frequency trading levels where you worry about latency, uh, well, unless again you have a capital account of at least minimum quarter million dollars why are you worried about that uh because to be personal to be truthful that is something you should not be worrying if you're trading no more than uh five five trades a day 20 trades a day 30 trades a day you don't have to worry about latency um so this tick uh set of questions i don't see why you'd be worrying about it um, because you're only worrying about that if you're really trading on a sub-second level, like a virtual, uh, like a Virtu Finance who's trading at levels of two, 3,000 uh, trades a day. So you don't really need to worry about stuff like that. Um, and I would like to know input on latency. Uh, well, on the latency, yeah, but even if you decided to go high frequency on something like interactive brokers, uh, no offense, but you're, you're the commissions alone will probably kill you uh, and it won't even make your uh, trading uh, profitable at all, no matter what kind of algorithm or strategy you're, you're, you're using. So again, I wouldn't worry about that too much. Um, let me just make sure. Yeah, interactive brokers I like because they seem to be the cleanest broker. If you've not seen my particular video I just put up on, let's say, for, uh, Forex trading, at my Quant Labs channel, uh, what you will want to. Hey there, uh, how's your trading going? Shut myself Let up. me show you some algo shut up. financial right. market analysis. That shut we up. Can okay, there we go. This particular video here, six ways your retail Forex trading broker is screwing you. Um, after some, as best as I can, analysis, again, that's this video will show you that interactive brokers. Is probably one of the cleaner Forex retail trading brokers on top of, you could probably even use LMAX. All right, so back to the questions. So IB uh, is good for just even medium frequency. So that's all cool. So let's talk about that. 
Now, in terms of trading as a, a, a momentum or news plays, um, that's all good when you're up in a momentum. If you're on the downside, um, you will uh, need to worry about uh, trading in a reactionary mode and what the market's doing um, because there's just certain elements of trading will go against you uh, trading like that. But I'm going to be going into that in upcoming weeks to months. So keep your eyes out for that. Um, momentum's okay when you're in an upswing market for like the posting I put up on my Instagram last night where if you look at between 1990 and was it uh, 2010, 11, where you had a, literally a 10 year bull run, um, momentum trading works awesome. And then the current trading where we're at, um, uh, that momentum is good, but you're, you're going to be hitting down downsides in the markets. So these, these strategies are not going to be useful for you. So you do need to diversify your stra uh, strategy uh, deployment for sure. So keep all that in mind. I hope that these questions do answer your questions. But again, I would obviously recommend IB as a broker for a variety of reasons. Um, in terms of level two quotes, I can't really comment on that at all. Um, but to be honest, I would rather trade using IQ feed or at least from an analytical point of view and uh, go from there. Uh, when you're doing your live trading from the insiders or call them multi-millionaire traders, you definitely need to use the data coming in from your broker, again, IB. Once you're moving into uh, into higher speeds, uh, unless you got a large account of probably a quarter million, half a million, you're gonna be moving to HFT friendly brokers like Lime Broker, or even on the exchanges like CME. So again, don't worry about stuff like that. Build up your account, get to those levels, work on the medium frequency uh, strategies and go from there, okay? Hopefully that'll help you out. And thanks for again for watching and uh, asking the question. More, pl please ask away.